This is time of year when uh, we poets uh, find ourselves under a little pressure sometimes. Uh, so I thought uh, I'd run through a few approaches to writing Valentines. The first one's a straightforward classic Shakespearean sonnet. Of womankind our brummy bard said none could never lose nor cloy save Cleo lone in its unchangeable infinity by blind familiarity of use that slow sterility of lost surprise, the moth core beam of her variety. And true, the flame is fed by those it burns, while one who fears it flees, yet oft returns. But this is flame that shines through time undimmed, eclipsing as their embers fade red-limbed the routine joys of withering mortal fools. Ah, bleak, do none challenge these seer rules? I, who, spending all delight, beget but more, and by this turn I love to I adore. So it's a bit lighter, different format entirely. Zing is in the air. Oh joy, it is that time again, that full and tender season, when we take our hearts and clean their spring, delighted that they still go zing, and if they oft did zing before, now let them swoon and spoon the more. So firing February's snow, it melts, warmed by their radiant glow, illumined with love this valentine. Oh, darling, be my valentine. <laughs> <laughs> In some versions of the myths, Cupid's blind, so just loses his arrow, and if it hits, it hits. But in others he isn't. There are others that suggest that he thinks before he shoots. But if he does that, of course, he's sometimes he's going to get it in the outer rather than the bull. So he may have to come back and, uh, and try again. And here he is, busily at work. And thus, said my true love to me, we've both the spouse. And so, said she, one rule, no sex twixt you and me. We have to think of them, you see. Mm. Yes, I should do it, I agree. <laughs> no sex then. Now we've settled this, we'll seal the bargain with a kiss before we go. Although... <laughs> This one is written by a very straightforward man. It's obviously a man. He has no nonsense about him, and he hasn't got a lot of time. It's called Plain Vanilla. My dear, no tacky verses. Just please confirm, my dove, that, shorn of all the curses, I'm your valentine and love. But I see there's a, a note on this. It says, one of seven. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, finally. Uh, this is called floor play. Uh, well, that could be taken two ways, but the floor is because it's floral, it's about flowers. But we'll see about the rest. Floor play. Violence aren't violent, nor blue, though it's said. Roses are neither and often misread. Pansies are wild. If you don't believe so, Take a bunch of them clubbing and just watch them go. <laughs> Viper's bugle are so gentle as is the snake's head. Oh, enough of this floor play. Just get on the bed. The <laughs> <laughs> marvellous Patrick Newton Daly. Some of that will have to be x ray And now, a bonus. Here's one that I didn't have time for in the performance, but I thought you might as well have it, so here it is. It's called No Hang-Ups, Please. As we hung up last night, I thought I heard you murmur, I love you. But if you did or not, well, <laughs> anyway, I do too. I love you true, my duckiest duck. Still can't believe my unbelievable luck. Must stop now, my valentine. The rest's an open book. <laughs> <laughs>